Hi, in this video I'll show you the ESP Toy 1.2, which is a compact low-cost development board for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Now compared to the previous version, this version has removed the built-in Arduino microcontroller. Instead, it runs the Lua firmware which allows you to run scripts directly on the Wi-Fi module without involving any additional microcontroller. The Lua firmware is all around better, easier to use, and more stable than the original firmware, so it's highly recommended. ESP Toy 1.2 has a color LED, a push button, 3.3 volt linear regulator, a mini USB port, uh, and a USB serial chip. It comes with a surface mount version of the ESP8266, uh, and the module is pre-flashed with the latest Lua firmware and a startup demo script. The push button is internally wired to uh, the ESP module's GPIO0, so you can use it to reflash the firmware if needed. There is also a column of uh, breadboard uh, pins, which you can use to connect external components. This includes uh, one analog pin and several digital pins. The pin names refer to the pin index defined by the Lua firmware. To check the startup demo, plug in a mini USB cable. The blue LED will blink and the Wi-Fi module will enter access point mode, creating a Wi-Fi network. Using your smartphone or laptop, um, find the network. The name uh, should be ESP Toy uh, dash followed by uh, two letters. And the uh, Wi-Fi password is open door. Wait for the phone to connect. Then open a browser and uh, type in the IP address, which is 192.168.4.1. And uh, this will bring up a page with a couple of buttons and uh, uh, sliders. Now you can use the sliders to adjust the color of the LED. I'll put a piece of paper to cover the LED so you can see the contrast better on the, um, on the screen here. So this is sort of like a Wi-Fi color LED lamp demo. To learn how to use the Lua firmware, you can take a quick look at these websites. Um, and uh, here I will give you a brief tutorial. To begin, I recommend you to download the ESplora software, um, and the download link is here. Plug in a mini USB cable to ESP Toy. Your computer should detect the USB serial port and automatically install driver if needed. If you're using Windows, XP, or Mac, uh, you will need to install driver manually. The driver download links can be found at esptoy.racehobby.net. Once the driver is installed, the device should show up as a serial port. Next, launch the ESplora program. On the uh, upper right corner here, uh, you can see the detected serial port. Uh, the, uh, on the ESP toy, it uses uh, the CH340G uh, USB serial chip, so it, uh, the device name should be uh, uh, cu.wch, uh, something like that. Uh, if, you don't, if it doesn't show up, you can click on the refresh uh, and see if it come, appears in the list. Um, and then next, just click on Open to uh, establish a connection to the serial port. 
The way the Lua firmware works is that you send commands or scripts to the Wi-Fi module through the uh, serial port, and the module executes the scripts on the fly. You can also save the scripts to a file so it can automatically run uh, on startup. For example, in the script editor here, uh, type in print, uh, parenthesis, quotes, hello, ESP toy, uh, and then click on send to ESP. And you will see the output from the window on the right. So what's happening here is that when you click on send to ESP, uh, the script, which is this uh, print line, uh, gets sent to the Wi-Fi module through the serial port and then it executes the script and returns the output back through the serial port. So next, let's try some GPIO examples. Uh, on the ESP toy, the red color LED is connected to GPIO pin number 2. So this little uh, script here basically uh, turns on the red LED for 500 uh, millisecond and uh, then turns it off. Um, so let's try to send this to the ESP toy. So you can see that the red LED blinks for half second and then turns off. Um, and let's try again. Uh, I can also change this uh, pin to pin number 4, which is the blue LED. or number one, which is the green LED. Now you can also save this script um, as a file to the ESP toy. So the ESP module here has flash memory space and the Lua firmware supports a file system. So we can uh, click on save to ESP. And here you should give it a name, uh, let's say Blink. So by doing this, uh, this script will uh, be stored as a file. So we can list the file. You can see that uh, there is a file here called the Blink. You can also directly click on Do File to execute the script. So in this case, uh, it's not sending the scripts to the ESP toy anymore, but it simply uh, runs the script that's already stored on the board. Next, let's try a slightly more complicated example. So here is a script which um, sets up an interrupt function for the button. The button on the ESP toy is connected to GPIO uh, number 3. And uh, so I'm here using the button to turn on the uh, blue LED, which is connected to GPIO 4. Um, so basically, this sets up the interrupt. And then this is the interrupt callback function. So in the callback function, it simply um, you know, turns on or off the LED depending on the button status. So let's save this to ESP toy and I can name it button.lua. So when I click on the button, it turns the LED on and then um, if I release the button, then it turns the LED off. So at this point, it looks like the Lua firmware can do pretty much what um, standard Arduino can do. But its power is really in uh, creating web services and handling Wi-Fi uh, connections. Um, so here is a very simple demo uh, that is a, a, a web server, HTTP server. So what this does is it creates a server and opens a port at uh, 8080. And then uh, this is the callback function. Um, so when it receives a request from the web, uh, it's going to return this very simple HTML uh, web page uh, and then close the connection. Now, in order to run this, because the ESP toy comes with a startup demo that already runs a server, uh, the first thing you probably want to do is to remove that demo. So you can do file.remove uh, init.lua and then just click on send to ESP to, um, um, to remove this. 
Um, and then next, you probably want to just to unplug and replug in the ESP toy. Um, and then, so send this and then reopen the uh, serial port. And then s save this script to ESP. So at this point, it has started the web server. And now if you go to your Wi-Fi settings and then um, it should have a wireless network called ESP toy uh, dash followed by two numbers and so just connect to this Wi-Fi the default password is open door um, and then next is once it's connected just to open a browser and enter 192.168.4.1 followed by colon 8080 that's what the the server is listening to the port number um, and then as you can see um, the uh, ESP toy returns the uh, very simple HTML web page um, if you want to make it a little more complicated you can um, modify the program to return a more complex page for additional demos you can go to the ESP toys github page um, and download additional examples there. Now, so just one last note about the ESP toy. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, this push button can also be used to refresh uh, the firmware on the ESP module. To do so, you just press and hold the button while plugging in the uh, USB, uh, mini USB cable. So at this point, the uh, module will enter bootloading mode and waiting for a uh, firmware to be flashed. And uh, so I recommend you to use the ESP tool. Uh, it's a Python script which can be used to uh, very easily reflash the firmware. So in case you don't like the Lua firmware and you want to go back to the original AT firmware, you can uh, reflash the firmware this way. Okay, so that's all about ESP Toy 1.2. For additional information, uh, please go to esptoy.racehobby.net. Thanks for watching this video.